war never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Braxo, for all your cleaning needs. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degrees... Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. And today's news... Thanks, Cosworth. Of course, sir. Same. Oh, sound like someone made a stinky. Nuka Cola, ice cold. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Saddle up Salisbury steak, graded A plus. Hun. Well, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? Stationed overseas are experiencing some unusual weather as well. On the island of Mamba Jiao, the nights are cold, unseasonably so for Southeast Asia. But for the 5th Infantry, that's as comfortable as an autumn jamboree. All the easier for our mechanized Hellcast to drive in. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning, Voltec calling. Good morning. 
Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Now I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sir, Sean has been changed. But he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. You heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately.
Sorry. I am Not on the list. Back. You don't get I'm in. I'm going in. You can't shoot. Oh, oh, oh. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. You two, God follow me. All. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no, we don't. Don't be. get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs okay. and through the door there. For you. All new residents, just this please place. proceed in an orderly fashion. This Welcome way. home. May Excuse me. Hello there. Once we seal the just vault, we'll all be getting to know each other a lot more, I'm sure. Step over to the May. Table. Take a seat. Email and. A Welcome. Okay. Pick up a suit right over there. Right over there. Here you are. Head down. It's uh, down the hallway there. right Thanks. there. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Hey. This way, please. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Sir? Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't how, make it? How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical it's items. Just checking to everyone off the list as they come designed in. to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Excuse me. Just this way. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals, normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. Oh, <sighs> 
I got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you shot. has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Malfunction in cryopod manual God. release override. Why would Vault Tech do this? Giant roaches? What the hell? Where is everyone?
Is this all that's left? Nice. Coming back later for you. Anyone get out? Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. <laughs> 